Hi there, Slade Black Mage here, and we're and we're here with a build tutorial on how to build a nice looking structure in a small plot size. Now, many survival multiplayers, you people are given plot sizes. Uh, some are nice size, some aren't, and I want to go over how you can have a nice build for pretty much any plot size. Uh, so today, this. What we'll be looking at is a nice little, I call it rustic modern, you know, a fusion between the two, uh, house for a 5x5 plot size. So, let's get into the build materials needed. But before we go, I do want to preface that you are free to customize how you want. If you want to change the leaves, the wood types, the stone types, please do so. It is all about having fun with the builds. However, if you want to follow the tutorial to the letter, or in this case, to the block, then here we go. All right, so for this build, and then it should be noted that if you wish to follow my uh, design here by the block, you know, this is what you'll need, but don't be afraid to do a little experimentation. Different wood types, different stone types, you know, it's all good to try different variations. Uh, but for following my instructions, you need nine mush brown mushroom blocks, two polished andesite, two composters, four flowering azalea leaves, six barrels, two yellow stained glass panes, three campfires, two lanterns, six spruce fences, 15 dark oak planks, 17 dark oak stairs, a furnace, a red tulip, a flower pot, Six spruce stairs, a spruce door, two dark oak trap doors, a bed of whatever color you wish, a crafting table, uh, 16 polished deep slate, 15 deep slate slabs that are polished, and 21 spruce logs. Now, something to note with the yellow stained glass, the reason why I go with yellow is because when you put yellow glass in, it gives the idea that there's a light on inside of a house. So it gives it a bit of a uh, lifelike touch on it, like there's, it's alive, you know, like there's someone inside. But you could do whatever color you want. I just prefer yellow for making it seem like there's someone home. Alright, so now that we got our supplies together, let's grab what we need for the basics. So I'm going to grab the barrels, the logs, the mushrooms, the dark oak, the polished andesite, Yeah, let's start with that. So, big thing to remember is this is supposed to be a plot of land that you have five by five to work with. So, if you go outside of bounds, you know you don't have room. Now, normally I'm not a fan of that, but you know servers they can be their own thing. So, let's get started on this. So, I'm gonna make my back corner here. So that means I'm gonna go to here, place a barrel. two there, leave a space in the middle, put a barrel here, put a barrel here, and put the rest of the mushroom blocks there. Now, we're going to be going up by four on this side, so in total five tall from including the barrel and the four bits of spruce, and you're going to bring it across. Now for over here, we're actually going to go three across, not three across, three up, and two across. Same for the other side. So one, two, three. And then we're going to bring this across here. Now, let's grab we don't need that yet. Let's grab that, that, and that. Uh, we are done with the brown mushrooms, so I can put them here. I believe we're done with the spruce logs as well. So, with the dark oak, fill in the 
the walls, the floor. Now, this is just temporary block. This is, oh, let me rephrase it. You do not need the top layer and bottom layer filled with the solid blocks. I just prefer the solid blocks because, you know, it's a good temporary block. What you will be doing is stairs along here, uh, here, and he along this wall, and this wall. Now the reason why I'm doing stairs here is because since we don't have a lot of room to decorate, we need to let texture be our decoration. So having just this little inlet adds a little more so it's not just a flat wall. Now, front door, path, and the door goes here. Oop. We will be putting solid dark oak there, and we will be placing the stairs along there. Now let's get to the, uh, oh, I almost forgot about these. Put these here. Now, we're gonna put polished deep slate along this road, road, <laughs> uh, row, followed by the full block. Now, in here, we're actually going to put six deep slate but you could sit, use six filler blocks. These blocks won't be seen. It's just to fill the gap so you don't get any spiders spawning in here. But we're going to do another row of the slabs. Followed by the block deep slates. Then another for the slabs to give a bit of a... You know, a bit of a... So it's not so flat, you know. Not just straight up flat. It's like, oh, it's got a bit of a curve. Uh, that's the way I was looking for. Curve. Now, uh, let's get the fences in place, and yeah, I think that's that, so we are good with those being done, trying to get these out of my hot bar quickly. Let's grab you, 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 and you too. I'm actually going to grab the rest of this, let's be honest. I'm going to grab the rest because, well, as you can see, we're almost done. So, you put three campfires along here. Um, now, you can use a shovel for this, which I will use since I'm just already typing the words. And you want to put out the flames. You could also use a water splash potion, uh, that has no effect, Whoop. and it will still do the same. Now here, composters, and your flowering azaleas. Gives you a bit of a nicer look in the front. Now inside, this is where our glass panes are going to go. Crafting table on this side, furnace on this side, a lantern here for a light source. As I, can, as I said, you can see that now, but uh, you won't have to worry about that. We're just going to... There we go. Now. Uh, grab those. This is where the remaining two barrels come in play. Uh, put your bed here. Again, you don't have to do red. I just like to do red because it red fits this, you know, brown environment. Plus, it's a change of colors. And as far as the red tulip goes, you don't have to do a tulip. You can do whatever you like. I just prefer to do a red tulip because, well, it's a tulip. And that's... Pretty much it. Basic, five by five. Looks nice. A good bit of starter home, you know, it's a 
I'd say it's survival fr survival friendly, uh, especially in your early days. And it looks nice wherever you are. So again, if you uh, want to change things, you know, you can change the woods out. You can change the stone. You know, be, don't be afraid to customize and make this your own thing. Um, if we had the room, uh, since we're going on to room detail, you know, if we have the room, but this is if we didn't have the room, I would probably like bring this along here, give this a little more of an edge, bring this along here. Uh, there's not really a lot, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Five by five house for. That's survival friendly, easy to gather the resources together. All right, so now that this is done, let's show it off. So we've got our basic, this is what it looks like with my texture pack, which is compliance. Uh, so first off, let's show it without compliance. How's this looking vanilla? It actually looks pretty good. Now. Let's turn on shaders, but still in vanilla. Uh, I like to use the Beyond Belief Legacy. It looks very nice. So we apply. We're done. Oh, that. That looks nice. Cozy. And see? The yellow adds a bit of a light to it. It's like, you know there's a light on in there. So that tells you someone's home. Now, of course, my favorite thing. Where it is? There it is. My compliance pack. It's a little modified, but not major uh, worth noting. And my last favorite detail. Turning on the rain. I always like seeing what my builds look like in the rain. There's something, something with this... Uh, texture pack and the shaders just makes this all worth seeing in the rain. So, hope you all enjoy. This has been Slay the Black Mage. If you like this kind of content and want to see more, hit the subscribe button down below. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to be notified of when I put out more videos, consider hitting the bell icon. I'm also live on Twitch at times, so consider following me there at twitch.tv forward slash slay the black mage. Slay the black mage and I'll see you all around the bend. Have a good one folks.